striker. You really need to pay attention. Okay. Grab my girth. And it's not, the, the center D is not right in close to the center of the belly. It doesn't have to be exactly, but it needs to be closer than it is here, so I have to let my girth out. Striker. He's trying to look at you. I want my D about center underneath the barrel of the horse here or close to it so when I snug up it'll be equal on each side. <laughs> I don't use the metal tab. I don't use these holes because if I just want to snug, I'm not into tightening. I want the saddle to be really comfortable for the horse. So I don't want to be held hostage to two and a half to three inches to get to the next hole that that would go into. So I always do the old tie off. So if I only need a half inch to snug, then I can get that. Depending on the length of your latigo, this one's got two turns. Come on. I'm left-handed, so. The comedian. So I always do a tie. I usually retighten about three times. So let it sit. My back cinch, I use my connector strap so it goes as close to the front girth as I possibly can. I snug that as well. I want it tight. I want it as equally snug as my back. I want pressure from the back of the tree bar to help keep my front open and keep clear of the shoulders where the tree flows over the shoulders. And I'm going to retie this for you, and I'm going to give you a way that I've been teaching some of my students to do this as I was taught as a kid. And I think of the bite, the end of the latigo, as the rabbit. The rabbit goes through the hole, out the back door, over the log, through the other back door, and then back through the front door. And this works pretty good in teaching. This is a left-handed tie. I'm gonna really put myself to the test. I'm gonna do a right-handed one. The rabbit goes into the hole, out the back door, over the log, through the other back door, and then out the front door. And even on a lot of times, if you don't use these, it's nice to go ahead and just have them removed. And then I always put my bite up through my holder. And I go to both sides and pull that, that back girth forward to make sure I'm getting that good pressure from the back of the saddle to keep the front open and also make sure I'm getting my my weight distribution along the tree bar evenly across the entire bar. The other thing is the way that the D's are on these saddles, I can get this saddle right up where I need to, starting at the crest of the wither, and I don't have to worry about the girth interfering with the front leg assembly as it moves because of this D keeps the latigo back away from getting right up under the front leg. 
and so it functions really well where if the rigging's too far back I'll have issues. So I've got plenty of room here for it. And then just to double check my snug a few times. I don't do it all at one time. But I don't over tighten. It's very hard on the ribs. And we can actually displace or rotate ribs by over tightening. And if you have trouble with your saddle moving when you get on, it just means that you have to use more proper impulsion when you get on and more upper body strength and push off the bottom and not drag yourself up and on. So what do you think about that striker?